Let's give people time to tap in. Welcome to Hood Stocks on a Sunday afternoon, baby. Life is good. It's beautiful weather out there. Yes, sir. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Welcome to the best podcast in a two-block radius. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. We're a little early today. I know you guys are used to us going live in the evening, but um, sometimes we got to work around our guests' schedule. Okay, I want to give a big shout out to Steezy. Steezy Nation, baby. Taking care of hood stocks right here, baby. Uh, today's podcast is brought to you by Smooth Hustle Lifestyle. Uh, street fashion inspired by music, art, and fashion. It's not just a brand. It's a lifestyle, okay? You can uh, go to smoothhustlelifestyle.com and uh, place an order today. This podcast is also brought to you by Attorney Nicholas Rosenberg. He's a certified specialist in criminal law. Attorney Rosenberg is based in downtown Los Angeles. Rosenberg specializes in defending all strike offenses, firearm, and gang allegations, sales of control substances as well for the latest updates go to at attorney rosenberg on instagram and tiktok attorney rosenberg is punching back on criminal cases okay uh this afternoon's podcast is also brought to you by oc's new hottest tijuana taco spot swazzles baby in the city of staten located at one zero three three eight beach boulevard staten california check them out on instagram at swazzles Tacos underscore OC and peep game. You go to Swazos in Orange County on Beach Boulevard. You mention Hoodstocks, you get a sticker pack, baby. A free sticker pack with your motherfucking tacos, baby. Okay, here we go now. Blessing Hoodstocks platform with his greatness and the insight of probably one of the craziest ways to make a living. Hands down, baby. Everybody, give it up. For Matt Montague. Yo, yo, what it do, what it do. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good, good, good. How are you? I'm doing good. But did I say your last name right? Uh, yeah, Montague. Yep. Montague, yep, Montague. It. Okay. It. Yep. What, what kind of last name is that? Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, they say it's French, but I'm uh, Puerto Rican. So I'm Port- I have Puerto Rican, uh, Scottish, and uh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. yep. Puerto Rican and Scottish. And Puerto Rican and Scottish. So where I, I don't know where where the French name comes in, but it is what it is. You probably love French fries, dog. Yeah, I do. I do. Look yeah. at this body. You know this body loves French fries. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Body by French fries. Yeah. Doggy. Body by French fries. Big and sexy. All day. Yeah. So you know what, brother? Well, thank you so much for uh, making time to come bless the Hoodstocks platform. I mean, sometimes I leave it up to the Goonies. Sometimes I leave it up to the community and I'll just throw it out there like, what's cracking my G's on Instagram? Who do you guys want to see on the platform? And sometimes I put them in the position of the power to make the call. For sure, for sure. You know? And they tagged you. I peeped game. Right. And I was like, oh, damn, we got to have the big dog on the platform. Gotta do it, gotta do it. I mean... What do you do for a living? So I own a company. We clean. Uh, it's a biohazard company. It's called Sterile Pros. Uh, we clean homicides, suicides, drug labs, hoarders, fentanyl, uh, Ebola, um, serial killers. We do. We do all the nasty, fucked up shit. All the shit that is like. Whoop. How did you get into that? So my boy, I, I had a couple of bucks at the time, man. I wanted to invest into his like he had a little uh, restoration company he was going to start, and I had told him, "Yo, man, like let me get in," and, and he said, "No, no, no, well, you should look into this." And I said, "Man, what the fuck? You know, like don't the, the coroner clean that up, or the fire department, or the police?" And uh, that's just not the case. Uh, they they just leave the fucking bloody mess. Uh, so they the coroner comes in and they take whatever is the main part but usually whatever is smaller than two fists is left so fingers eyeballs teeth brain matter fucking you name it uh, they leave it 
Well, that makes sense because I've been following the Alec, Alec Murdoch trial. Have you peeped game on that? A hundred percent. Well, I was just watching it on the way down. Bro, I've yeah. been like infatuated wild. with that murder trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's just, it's, like you said, it's wild. It's wild. And there's wild. probably a lot of Alec Murdoch's in the world, bro. Hundred percent. That, that are in, uh, bro. He was in control hundreds, a hundred years, bro. His family has been in control of that county in South Carolina. Hundred percent. You yeah, know? That, that's old school um, white mentality, you know, where they, it's just generational, generational, and they be, you know, motherfuckers getting away with it for a long time, and it's just, it is what it is, and then, you know, shit, but, but just, that's just one dude in one town, like, imagine the motherfucker, bro, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's fucking everywhere. Did he kill his wife and son? 100%. Did he have anyone to help him with that? Um, yeah, I, I fucking, the other son knew. And dude, Buster's got to know what Buster happened. knows what's happening, man. And Buster's out living his best life right now. He's, you know, he's he's got all his dad's shit. He's pawning it off. He's out at the fucking Bellagio playing twenty one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, his dad ain't gonna snitch on him for whatever reason. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah. And I think it wasn't just the the, the other people with the car crash and and uh, the other shit that happened. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I think there's going to be some more skeletons that come out, and motherfuckers are going to be like, what the fuck? Come on, bro. You're 100% correct. Yeah. Well, I believe you're 100% correct, because I have the same feeling in my yeah. gut. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he just recently got uh, charged with uh, the murder of his uh, wife and son. South Carolina jury found him guilty of them yeah. murdering his wife and son. Yeah, he did it. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what we're talking about. No, no, I know. Yeah. No, yeah, I know. Well, he, they just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's gonna. Bro, come you're out. late on the yeah. bus, Casey. <laughs> I, I he just, he just announced that like that was breaking news. Well, bro. you asked him if he if he thought he did it. I mean, well, I mean, the well, court of law. I know, yeah. The court just, of law convicted yeah. him, but still, the the question is, my did, personal opinion. Yeah, fucking fuck yeah, he did hundred percent. And like you said though, bro, come on, I've been on hard drugs in my life. Yeah, and no how, no way. Did I ever be thinking about killing anybody that I love close to me? You know, like, bro, I've been fucked up. Yeah, yeah. To, 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 Maggie Murdoch got shot five times with that blackout. Yeah. Five times. Yeah. Bro, that. how do you shoot your wife five times with an assault rifle? That and, blackout, and, whatever, and, the $10,000. And, and then shot hit the son in the chest and then in the neck as he laid there dying. Come on, man. That's a cold piece. That, but... What I always say is, because a lot of people ask a lot of questions, right? Like, um, what's the craziest shit you've ever seen? Um, um, what what ethnic background does what? And to be honest with you, bro, when it comes to uh, serial killing, fucking white people, they always do the crazy shit. Like, whenever I go somewhere and somebody's eating somebody or, or somebody's hit, fucking hung dogs from the roof, uh, their heads from the roof. It's always white people, bro. It's always, bro. So you're telling me, bro, that you have come encounter with these type of cases that you had to go clean up the mess. Fuck yeah. A dude eating somebody. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. 100%. We got to hear that. I, 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 so there's... Um, I told this on my podcast and fucking... So I, I can get into some, but remember, it's an open case. But right now, there's a dude who goes from San Diego area... Um, all the way up towards Santa Clarita area, back over to Arizona and back down all in that area. And he is he is killing females from the age of like 20 to 29. Um, and what is happening is, is he, he's chopping them up. And after he chops them up, um, he's going to serve tacos with this shit. And it's and it's a hundred percent. So because and what's happening is is they know that it's human meat because human meat gets you violently ill if you don't cook it or freeze it within a certain amount of time. It, it, it gets you really fucked up, and that's what's happening. So when he throws up, shit is all fucked up. So so they're throwing up human meat. People are getting fucking violently ill. They're testing it. They're like, what the fuck? But, but so so they 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 they've leaked. They've linked, I'm sorry, they've linked this to this dude that he's, he's killing. Correct. Young girls. Yep. He's chopping them up. And, and he's a taquero too? He's, he's serving tacos? Yeah, So, but here's the, here's the kicker, right? If you go to a taco stand, right, are you buying fucking tacos from a white dude? 
Come on, bro. You know immediately. There's some fucking right. There's come on, bro. You, that's that's what you get. You you can't go to a fucking uh, 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 a little side of the road spot and and know that there's a white guy serving tacos there. There's a problem, right? Because you you I've had white guy tacos, right? Corn or I mean flour tortillas, fucking cheese and lettuce and shit, right? Ground that, beef, right? You know, <laughs> ground yeah. beef. That's and, a white guy know, taco. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, you know tacos uh, tonight. Yeah, yeah. a little, little uh, the, uh, the El Paso fucking uh, seasoning on it. That's a. Hey. Uh, that's it. So yeah. you know, you little you, pace picante. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Get a rope. Yep. So that's uh, you know, that's the thing. But he's he's a little bit smarter. He does it uh, usually from the time of one o'clock to three o'clock in the morning, and usually it's by a club where you know you're intoxicated. A lot of people they're having a hard time trying to figure out who it is. Um, a lot of people's. Um, you know, when they say, oh, he looked this tall or he looked that tall or he was wearing... The-. It's all fucked up because everybody's so shit back drunk. And so, but they were able to link this because people had to go to the hospital maybe? Yes, multiple times. Had to go to the hospital yes. for eating human meat tacos. Correct. Correct. And I mean, what, what kind of sickness do they get from that? It, it's, it's basically... Just so I know. It's like food poisoning, but it would be... Uh, where food poisoning can take like eight hours, this shit's usually, uh, from what I understand, is two to four hours, pretty instant. Yeah. Like sh- like shitting and, and throwing up pretty uncontrollably, and and um, yeah. And and remember, it doesn't digest well. Or like you know when you throw up uh, from food poisoning, you know how like your food comes up whole, like whole pieces of chicken, whatever the fuck it is, right? It's the, it's the same kind of concept. But um, hu- human meat looks fucked up, dude. You ever uh, seen yeah, that? I'm already going to puke, dude, and I didn't know how long into this I was going to almost... Oh, throw, we haven't almost even, yak, dude. We haven't even gotten into it. Like, <laughs> we're going to get into some shit. Yeah. Yeah, you... Get him get a, get get a, a bucket. Get, get him a bid, please, Get him dog. a bucket. It's about to go down. that nice little fucking coat he's got on. <laughs> bro, yeah, there's no... I mean, bro, you got to put some fucking spicy shit on that fucking human meat. We had a dude on the podcast, and we served him a shit sandwich. Mm. And, um, like corn and peanuts and everything, huh? <laughs> no, I swear to God. Big bullshit. It, it was big bullshit. Oh. <laughs> and we put ketchup on it. Oh. But it doesn't oh. matter if you put ketchup yeah. on shit. As soon as you, he bit into shit. it, he fucking gagged. Of course. And he, he, couldn't, he couldn't take it down. Right. Um, and so I'm sure human meat is not too far off. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've never eaten it, but like, you know... Every man has a, you know, I mean, I'm sure if you're stuck in that predicament where, like, you, your fucking plane crashes, right, and you're, and you're going to die, you're going to eat it, right? But not just on an every, everyday basis, right? Yeah. You're Shout out to that movie, uh, what is it called? Alive. 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 Yeah. Oh, you remember that? They were eating butt cheeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> eat, eat, eating booty. <laughs> eating groceries, right? Eating I, the booty like groceries before just, it was a thing. <laughs> yeah. I hope I hope if I ever get in a, you know, uh, that type of accident, or hopefully it never happens, but I got my girl with me because she got fucking a big old ass, bro, and I will be oh, good. You're going to survive. I will survive you're it, bro. Survive. Yeah, That's I good. will be good, That's bro. Good. You'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Some other people might not. Yeah, 100%. I see some flat booties out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but but we have a uh, but but then again, yeah. Can you imagine? You you're like, all right. You look over and you're like, all right. I'm safe, man, because uh, she got a fat ass. And then you end up on the side of the mountain and you realize it's an ass job, bro. You know what I mean? And you get to cut into that <laughs> ass and it's that. just there's nothing in it, bro. It's a yeah. fucking uh, a it's water an injection. It's a water balloon, dog. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You, then you yeah. fucking yeah. Die. All you can do is hydrate from it. That's all you're gonna do. There you go. Hydrate. Yeah. Yeah. You get no beef on it. <laughs> um, so you are contracted by the FBI. So we have several contracts, uh, like, you know, different police departments, uh, different corners departments, different. It just each each city and uh, county is really it, it's kind of crazy the way that it works. But we do have some contracts so we get uh, contracted through, um, you know, FBI's or if it's uh, L.A. County Sheriff or L.A. County Coroner or San Bernardino County. Like It just all depends. Each county is different. Uh, but what a lot of people don't understand, too, is like I, I get this call as like, you know, who pays for it? Right. Like, you know, so 95 percent is paid for by homeowners insurance or terrorist insurance. Wow. Yeah, so it all covers, or business insurance, whatever, whatever it is, you know, somebody goes into a 7-Eleven and smoke, gets smoked or whatever, then the, the business insurance will cover it. Or if you have, you know, terrorist insurance or whatever it may be. I want, I want, to, get, I want to get deeper into some of the, you know, uh, scenes you've had to clean up. Yeah. 
but it takes a certain type of person to be able to stomach that for one thing and to make it his everyday occupation, right? The way he feeds his family. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You um, know, what, what, how, how were you raised, brother? I mean, were you raised on horror movies? Were you watching uh, Friday the 13th at two years old? I mean, you know. What no, 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 I wasn't even like, I, you know, I wasn't, I've always been um, a hustler, right? Like I always had, you know, a little side thing going on. I've been out on my own since I was 15. So, um you know, you, you just, uh, I think our generation is a little bit different than now where, like, you learn to do whatever the fuck it takes to to, uh, to make a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Um, and no time did I ever think when I was a kid, yo, this is what I'm going to do is clean up fingers, eyeballs, knees, and toes, you know what I'm saying? But, like, it, it fucking came out, it's like, it's, it's, you know, once you do it, first couple of times, you're like, oh, this shit is what it is, right? Like, do you enjoy your work? I en I enjoy my pay cash in my checks. That's really it. But you know, when you hold somebody's eyeball and it looks back at you, it's different. It's different though. It's a whole different fucking. You know, when you're Cheerio, like it's a whole different thing. Hold hold the human eyeball and it looks back at you and you just know that there's no soul. It's pretty funky. It is. You know. Or taking fingers that you pick up, you know, off the ground and, you know, and you see somebody, you know, a couple fingers, you know, it's crazy. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh an eyeball is a whole lot. It's on a whole another level than a finger. It is, right? Well, like, yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, does the whole would, would, would it be like uh, just the whole eyeball comes out and there's maybe a little the tail to it from the nerves or it something? Just, it really all depends on each scene is so different. You know, it could be half an eyeball. It could be just the front um, lens. It could be the whole eyeball with with you know, like you said, the tail that you know that you're holding and you just kind of swing. Like it is, you know. How do you prepare yourself for that when you get the call? Like, who, when do you get the call? After the investigation is done? No. Hey, let's call Matt. No, we, we usually get the call right right once the either the coroner or homicide is there. Um, we, we, we get the call. You know, because homicide detectives come out if it's a suicide or if it's a homicide. You know, because everybody has to... To, to kind of figure out what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, even if it's apparent suicide with a note and everything, homicide still comes out. So we'll get the call then, and they'll say, "Hey, man, you know this is what happened. This, you know, this dude or blew his noodles all over the place, and it's pretty bad. You know, you want to get out here and, and get with the family and get it all cleaned up so that you know they're not trying to go in and look at it. You know, because it's it's weird. Sometimes families really want to just see. Like it's almost like they're in disbelief of what happened. And uh, they they just fucking they, they have to see it. And then the problem is, and they see it, and they never they never unsee get it. back right. Yeah, they never get back right again. You can't unsee that, bro. No, no. And the smell, bro. The fucking smell is for me. I can look at it and see it all day. I can see bodies. It's it's not a it's not a thing for me. But the fucking smell, bro, is it's like it's like homeless sex and garbage truck juice. It is so fucking bad it is so bad like it it's it's horrible it's, it's <laughs> well you said homeless it's, sex <laughs> it's garbage it's juice fucking ill it's ill oh it's God. it's ill i i was do i did one with my one time i tell the story we did this dude that was running from the cops and he fucking ran through a Winco, you know, the, the grocery store, right? Yes, sir. And he fucking runs upstairs and he runs on the roof. And he's like, fuck, he's looking around and there's this little fucking crawl space, right? And he's like, well, fuck it. I'm going to scoot back in there. I'm going to scoot back as far as I can. The cops are running up there looking. Well, it goes back and then it drops like this. And when you drop like that, there's a pillar. It's a pillar in the front of the, of the fucking uh, Winco, like, you know, one of the concrete pillars. So he's kind of hanging over because he's like, fuck, I don't want them to open the door and see me. Well, he fucking falls all the way down in there. So he falls down in there and he's fucking, um, it's July and it's up in uh, Lancaster. It's hot as fuck. So it's like 120 degrees out, right? And this dude had grinded his fingertips from trying to like climb out. He was fucked. He, he, he was just, so he burned it. He burned to death. He cooked to death really is what happened. He was a Hispanic dude. He had a heat stroke. Um, I, I mean, I would imagine, I would because imagine. you said it was in July, it was out that way, which is hot as shit hot out as there. Hot as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And so he fell in the pillar. Yeah. They couldn't find him? No, no, nobody ever found him. Nobody ever found him. Until 
So what happened was the fucking smell, the smell that I was talking about, was coming out. So a plumber gets here and goes, oh, hey, bro, yeah, 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 tells Winco, it's going to cost you like 5K. <laughs> this is what happened. <laughs> they fucking, they ran your sewer up and over, which anybody that does construction knows, right? Sewer goes down. You never go up. For this reason, you don't want shit falling on your head. <laughs> and he fucking, this is the way at this fucking um, pillar. This, uh, concrete pillar, and there's the foot. And this dude fucking strokes, strokes out right there. So they call the ambulance, fucking they get there, they revive the fucking dude, all this shit, and there's the foot. And it smelled so bad. Ask Trevor, I fucking threw up I, at least four or five times. Oh Trevor's your son, does Trevor, he work with you? Um, he, he's done a couple jobs, he's in school right now, he's becoming a, um, he gets his master's degree uh, next week in uh, psychology. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Trevor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good so, work, baby. Good work, don't yeah. you? So the dude's in there like this. I go to grab his arm to pull him out, and I pull it, and it comes off like pulled pork. It's just, oh, it's just like, it's, it was pretty bad. And so how, how long was he in there for? Uh, a week. A week. Yeah, so and it's so, like overcooked fucking, overcooked yeah. carnitas, you know what I mean? It was ill. <laughs> it was slow cooked. When, does a, when, when, does, a, when <laughs> does a human body start decomposing and being able to, limbs be able to pull off like carnitas right you know it, it really depends on there's a so it depends on the heat it depends on um what's going on in the body right if there's like a cancer or if there's a if there's a you know something inside the body that is killing them it's more likely to happen than a healthy body you know what i mean it yeah. all depends on is they're the already kind of dead inside yeah, is, is, the, is yeah. the air conditioner on is the is the fucking heater on is yeah. you know the, what the climate yeah, yeah like you know that 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 is what do they a, call it rigor mortis rigor, rigor mortis yeah the rigor mortis yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, I, I was doing this fucking autopsy one time, and we were in there, and this fucking chick, she was probably like 24 years old, and uh, we're all in there, and this fucking, <laughs> this doctor was in there, and, and, and I'm like, yo, I said, doctor, what, you know, because she's, you know, you got to make, they make a Y incision here, right, and they, they cut it open. Yeah. You weren't doing the autopsy. Uh, no, no, we're, we're watching it. We're right? watching yeah, it, okay. we, we, we do this to, to, to keep all of our employees up to date on um you know what internal organs look like with whatever right so, so they can identify and shit and uh so they fucking she's laying there naked i'm like yo doctor what is that like right above her pussy like what is that you know what i'm saying like is that herpes and he goes and squeezes it and it's fucking and i was like instantly fucking <laughs> it was fucking hpv outbreak and i fucking gagged so it stunk <laughs> I can't even talk about it. It smelled like, it was like asshole, like, like the inside of a rotten's ass. It was so, fucking, so bad. It was so fucking bad, bro. My mouth's watering. Like, you know when you're about to fill up your mouth water? Like, yeah, yeah. Just thinking about Celebrate. that shit is like uh, fucking making me ill right now. But you do this for a living, sir. I do. I do. Yeah. So did you hunt as a child and, and gut your own animals? Nah. How do you prepare oneself for this? Yeah. I mean, what was the first job, bro? How did you know, hey, you know what? I could do this. Or is it just like, hey, I started this company up. This is what we do. I'm a hustler. So, and I got to go in there and I got to pick some brains. There's a dick lane <laughs> over there, you know? Yeah, so uh, my very first one. Uh, so, so this is what happened, man. Um, um, at the time, there was nobody that really taught this shit. There was one dude named Michael Tillman. Um, uh, he owned a company called Amdicon, um, and he, and he taught out of, uh, Texas, right? So, um, I did all of his fucking training. I talked to him on the phone, man. He, and, and he was real legit, like, like kind of broke it down of the OSHA regulations, all the shit you need to have, all the shit. So I took his course, did all that shit. And my very first case out there with him was he did, a um, they did this, this fucking, this white guy had fucking slit his mom from here all the way down to here. And then opened her up, right? And then took bolt cutters and cut the rib cage open. And he and and then he pulled her liver out and was eating it while he masturbated. That's that white people shit again. What? Who? Yeah, that was my first one, and I was like, "What the fuck? This is crazy! Like, what? The, this is what the fuck is going on?" So then I'm like, "Was okay, this in, well, was this in Fontana?" No, no, no. It was okay. in uh, no, <laughs> it was in the IE somewhere for uh, sure. No, it was in uh, in Texas, a whole nother state, uh -oh. a whole nother state. And then I came back out here. I I, I just was like, "Fuck it." Um, 
Um, I'm, I'm put the little chips I got. I'm gonna put it all in this company. And if I fail, fuck it, I fail. But I, I gotta try something different. I was wrenching on cars and shit, and it was just not the business. And I did my very first one out here, and um, it was this fu- this dude. He was a uh, corrections officer, and he tried to smoke his wife. He shot her like seven times, and she ended up escaping. And then the uh, SWAT team came and shot tear gas, and he fucking blew himself off. But um, yeah, I fucking did it at Christmas time too. And I did it, and that was it. I was, I was like, you know, I build the insurance company, and then I'm thinking, oh, these motherfuckers, they're not gonna pay this shit. Like, you know, I don't know, but biohazards, re- not, not. So you're not paying cheap. them a, a ridiculous amount of money. I mean, you're you're billing them like a lot of money. I mean, I'm billing them. You know what it boils down to is I'm billing them what is um, industry average. Okay. Right. Like I'm not exuberating the bill, but I, you know. Handling transportation, and then you just don't. It's not like you just take it to the to the waste, right? You have to take it down to to Long Beach, and you have to incinerate it, and it all has to be marked down on a manifest. Like there's a lot of bullshit that goes into it. Um, so yeah, I mean we yeah we charge a grip, and then they paid it, and I was just like, oh that's it. Net thirty, net sixty. Uh, is this no, a, is this no. A, is net, this? net 90. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So you don't see that money for three months? At least. And, and there's times where I don't see it for two years. But if, if you got a, a steady rotation yeah. of yeah. brains, so, dicks, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If you're th- yeah. I mean, if you got, you know, all kinds of shit coming in, you know, you're, then you're Gucci, you know. So you walk into that scene, your first scene. Yeah. And, and the... the Dude, the brew is blue's brains. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the well, let's the more takes the body. Yeah, you clean the mess. That's what reminded me about the Alec murder. Yep. They were they were the uncle said when he went there he had to clean up the the uh, bone uh, fractures of the bones. I mean not bones, pieces of bones. There was yeah, yeah, brain yeah. there still, and I was tripping on it, bro. I was like, yeah. why why does the more take that? But yeah, they, don't they don't do that. They don't do that. They're not there to clean anything up. So you go to your first scene, bro. The body's yeah. gone, but there's still a mess. Correct. What did you see walking in there? Um, I saw a blood trail all the way up the fucking stairs from where they were trying to like, when they were walking down, they like, um, her hand was like fucking like, you know what I'm saying? Like real life shit. Like she came down the stairs and went to the front door. It's just fucking blood everywhere. And then upstairs where he, where he, uh, where he committed suicide, you know, it just looked like a little bit of top ramen slung all over the walls and zip. Yeah. 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 A little bit of, a little bit of hair everywhere, you know, it's normal. So it's safe to say that you don't eat Top Ramens anymore. I love Top Ramens. <laughs> I eat it a fucking scene. I'm a savage, bro. You're a sick I man, I care sir. less. What kind of tools do you use? Like, do you have a shop vac and you just shop vac it all up? No, 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 no. We'll cut it out. We'll cut it out. Like, if it's in the fucking wall, we'll cut that whole wall out. Um, you know, make sure it's not load-bearing. We'll cut the carpet out. We'll cut the tile out. We'll chisel shit out. Like, you know, because, you know... If it's carpet, it ain't coming out, you know, because it it goes down into the padding and then under the concrete. We'll we'll have to grind that concrete up and use a HEPAVAC to to suck it up. Wow. Because otherwise, bro, you'll get a smell, you know. uh, So you got to clean, clean. Oh, you got to, yeah. You're doing demo, you're... 100%. 100%. You're bringing in the, the work truck. Yeah, yeah, real talk. Yeah, like, that's not like, you know, and then we have to dress up in these fucking Tyvek suits, and they're 25 degrees hotter than what normal. So if it's if it's 100 degrees out, it's 125 of these motherfuckers. It sucks. It sucks. Like, you come out sweating. It's miserable. Like, you stole something. It's so bad. Fucking miserable. Wow. And the smell. Did I mention the smell? The bum sex oh. and uh, garbage juice. Homeless sex. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's fucking... The visuals you can get, or you can you can live past, but the smell has got you. For me, yeah. for me. So like, but like I know other like Trevor. Trevor is not a, he can't fuck with the visual, but he's okay with the smell. You know mm. what I'm saying? But me, I can't. I, the smell is just fucking what? ill. What kind uh, of like respirators do you wear? So uh, we use N95 uh, disposables, or we use um, full face with uh, cartridges. It depends on. How long is the scene there? What are we cleaning in the scene? Sometimes we use uh, self-contained breathing uh, apparatus, which is a line of air that goes outside to the truck. It just all that shit depends on what what fucking you know what happened. You know, it what I mean? still gets through all. That. Oh fuck yeah, fuck yeah! Like we'll put tea bags in our masks to, to kind of smell a little bit better. But no, if it's if it's been there for a couple days, you, you better believe that it's gonna come up. 
For sure. For sure. It's fucking ill, dude. The smell is so bad. I wish, sometimes, like, I wish I could just bottle it up and just carry a little bit with me and just tell motherfuckers, like, yo, check this out. Like, it's, it is that fucking bad. It is so fucking bad, bro. It is so bad. The smell is... My mind is just, like, righteously blown right now, bro. Like, this... And you know what? To the, like, general public, like, I had no idea that there was companies that did this. Exactly. So most people don't, right? Until you're in this fucking situation and need this shit, nobody nobody knows that we exist, right? Because we're, we don't sell something, right? We're uh, needed right then and there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if it, you need us right here because fucking whatever happened, happened. We're going to come. We're going to fucking, whether it's two in the morning, it doesn't matter. We're on the way. We're going to fucking get it cleaned up so that you don't, the less traumatic that you have to endure, the better, you know, um, mm. you know, there's, there's, there's times that like we've been to, um, we've been to places where, um, you know, like pedophiles blown his fucking face off, his whole fucking face, just everything is gone, like a shotgun from you know, and he, he was a pedophile, man. They were coming to get him, and he knew it. He wrote that in the oh, note. And, and, you know, so sometimes like that, you're like, yeah, fuck, I'm great, you know? And then, then there's times where you got kids, man, that die, and you're fucked. Because, you know, I'm a father, right? Like, you, I don't want to see see these little feet, you know? Holy it's, man. It's, it's, yeah. it's got to hurt. It's a bad one. That hurts yeah. just thinking about it. Yes, Anytime there's there's death involving a child at any level, bro. I just, yeah, it's I up. flinch, bro. I yeah, punch the up. air, bro. It's fucked up. It is. It's, uh, it, it can, and it can create quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of fucked up, you know, thinking, you know, like, you just think, like, what the fuck, man? Like, this is, this is crazy, you know? I, I, I know it. We did this, we did this place in Calabasas one time, man, and these motherfuckers, I don't know, fucking house was probably worth $15 million, bro. They had this fucking, um, elevator and then the and so what happens is that in an elevator there's a safety switch and then the safety switch is about 75 bucks bro and so when the doors open and it's in motion it stops immediately right it's, it's a safety precaution then they close and it comes back down so the safety fucking switch went out and they're like oh we'll, we'll get to it you know and like four weeks go by and they don't do it which again 75 dollars right 15 million dollars and this fucking three-year-old the fucking doors open and fucking it smashed it right on down so you know those suck right like to do yeah. that like, you, had to go, you had to go yeah 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 that, a, that's a job you had to go clean up yeah 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 that was one of my that was one of my first first ones too right like those it's fucking you know when you when you raise the elevator up and stop it and you're trying to scrape the bottom to get everything off like you know it's fucked up i mean does it come a point in time after you've been doing it for so long how long you've been doing this for uh 2013 I okay company yeah so you got you got a good 10 years under the belt yeah 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 i mean there's a does it come a point has it come to a point in your career of doing this bro where it's just another day on the job and you emotionally detach yourself from whatever might be in front of you yeah so you put you know if you if you go into this house and there's there's pictures of them up i usually put them face down so we don't have to you know we try not to um we try not to personalize with them. I don't want to know if they're parents. I don't want to know if they're, they got kids. I, I don't want to know shit. I want to go in there. I'm going to clean the fuck and get the fuck out. Because the minute that you start to personalize with them, it starts to fuck with your head a little bit. You know what I mean? And, and human nature is curiosity. Of course. Right? But there's got to be a point in time for your own, you know, well-being, right? That you need to detach yourself and you know I don't need to know anything about this because it, it can potentially like stain your soul a little bit right yeah yeah i you know I, for me and my guys that work um dark humor is pretty rampant you guys got dead man jokes and crazy shit gotta, gotta yeah. have it right that's the why my humor. yeah that's why my podcast is called uh dying to see me because people are dying to see me it makes you guys go go over you can do it right now i don't care when some point in time uh follow this man subscribe to his channel thank say you, it one more you. time uh, it's called dying to see me 
And you can check me out on all uh, Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, all that shit. And I got crazy stories. I mean, we're going to get in some more, I hope. There's no, yeah, I hope too. So. I mean, dying to, shit, right? yeah, dying to see dying me, bro. To see That's got to be, <laughs> talk about the dark humor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it. You got it. You got it. Dark as it comes. It's dark as it comes, right? <laughs> Casey, you got the trash can, bro. Yeah, I'm ready, dark I'm ready. Um, yeah, you know, um, just funky shit. How has it changed you, bro? It's most definitely changed you, right? From who you were before yeah. to who you are now? Yeah, I think, you know, I have calmed down so much. Um, because, you know, life is very short. Everybody in this room, um, we all owe a death. Um, and and it, it's going to happen. Some more violent than others, and some sooner than others. Right? We all we just don't know when that is going to happen. We all own a death. Our death. We owe a death. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. so, you know, I, I think it's I think I think I've become a better. I, I fuck. I don't know. I want to say I've become a better person. I think, but you know, then sometimes I'm like, fuck. I'm just still a savage. Like, you know, there'll be times that I'm eating a burrito at a scene and just fucking brain matter everywhere it's like whatever like and then my guys are like oh you're a sick fuck and I'm just like I'm, it is what it is well you gotta set the example yeah right you gotta like, set the you example you wanna eat you're a fucking leader, bean bro. burrito <laughs> then you fucking eat a bean burrito yeah don't eat white strength. guy tacos yeah. <laughs> if you're yeah. at the club tonight and some white dude serving tacos, oh, don't bro, eat those don't do that. Well, if the boss is fucking hunched over throwing up, bro. You right. know what I mean? Right, right, you know, right. he's not yeah, being yeah. a good boss, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how to yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, he's yeah. gotta he's gotta you gotta push yourself to those limits yeah. and do that, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. To let these guys know that hey, yeah, if you ain't about this life right now. Yeah. You know, yeah, we've had can, we've had guys come and say, you know, I've been seeing dead bodies before. I could do this, do 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 do, and then we suit them up and we get them inside and they fucking start to do this fucking. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, listen, I'm not the most in shape, dude. I'm not carrying you out like a fireman. You better get the fuck out. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not dragging you out of this house. And they uh, and they start doing this shit, you know. And then the first thing they didn't want to do is pull their mask off, right? Yeah. You can't pull your mask off. You're gonna get fucking. If you breathe some shit, you can get fucked up. So you gotta hold their mask on them, and they're fucking, going, and they're fucking trying to run outside with them. And then I'm fucking. You know, then I'm, by that time I'm overheated, right? I'm fucking sweating and throwing up, and I'm fucking pissed. Jesus fucking Christ! If you can't do it, don't do it. So it's hard to get good work uh, yeah. uh, workers nowadays, yeah. huh? In the <laughs> yeah, <so laughs> so everybody's I mean, who's, lazy. Who's, who's filling out those applications? Is it, is it like all the goth and death metal dudes no. and females? Like, <laughs> okay. you just got a line black of bras with black hair and black nails, so, and she's like, yeah, you know, I would. That's I used to laugh and think, well, who the fuck's gonna do this job? But to be honest with you, eighty-five percent of applications come through are female. Yeah, they're real interested Psychos. in this kind of shit. Psychos. They're real interested in this shit. Well, I I used to have a girl. We would we get tweaked out, bro, mm -hmm. and and she'd want me to choke her. So I choke her because I'm on one, bro. Mm -hmm. While, while mm -hmm. I fuck her, right? Right, right, right. And then and then she would and while I'm choking her, she'd make her tongue hang out like ah, like she's really getting yeah, yeah, choked yeah. down. And it's really happening. And then she would act like she would she would die, and and she'd want me to then it was kind of like a role play. Right, right. I'd roll her over and I fuck her, like, you know, like she was dead. But then that's how that's how I found out my dog was gay because. <laughs> The dog would always be in the room, and every time I looked at him, he would play dead. Oh. <laughs> and I never taught him how to play dead. Yeah. And then I realized my girl had a big fucking mouth, bro, because I'd be hanging around with her friends sometimes, yeah. and she'd be like, don't you wish sometimes that you were dead, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit, this bitch wants to get fucked, you right. know? Right, 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 right. Anyways. It's all bad. Sorry about that, dog. I know. Jesus it's good. Christ. It's good. It's okay. Peter how did I just say that? What were we right. talking about? <laughs> Fucking peanut butter on his balls. Yeah, and then you had the dog licking the peanut butter out of your butthole while you were fucking her. Fucking fucking eating the, tossing the salad with peanut butter. Aye. Hey, they got a, they got a thing. Hey, bro, they got a thing called, <laughs> they got a thing called pause for life, bro. And, and these oh, dogs fuck. go into the prison system and they live with right, fucking right, right. Yeah. With, with, with prisoners, inmates. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And come on, bro. And you they're gotta, supposed to rehabilitate, right? Yeah, they're supposed to rehabilitate and train the dog at the same time. But I'm telling you right now, dog, there's got to be a fucking uh, a high percentage of sick motherfuckers that are in there. fucking that dog. They're, they're doing something, 100%. bro. Getting their balls licked while they jack 100%. off. hundred percent. I mean, it would probably cross my mind and I'm really yeah. not into that, bro. Like, listen, if you're, listen. It's just me and you in here and it's a female dog, then you start making excuses to yourself. Of course, if you, if you, you Can't know. I can't believe they did that to you. They did it bad. They didn't do it they to me, bro. 
We watched it. I watched it go down. The motherfucker's a nasty bitch. <laughs> I mean, listen, if you're doing life right and you got a fucking dog in there and you haven't fucked a hole in a while. <laughs> you're mad at them, not some, yourself. Yeah. You know, just sometimes it's going to happen. Just don't get a big dog. Just get you a little, 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 little baby one. So That's how, crazy. How do people usually throw up if you guys are all suited up? Like, you have to, like, run out of the area and just throw up? or Yeah. Yeah, and you don't want to cross contaminate, right? So you have to be very careful, bro. It's it's it's, it's gnarly. So usually we'll get to the front. So we work we work from the back out the front door, right? Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. So like we're not cross contaminating either way. So we'll 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 get to the front door and just fucking, you know, just depends. You know, everybody throws up. It just shit happens, right? Motherfuckers throw up and. Uh, it's kind of like probably getting your cherry popped in that field, right? You gotta, yeah. You gotta, but then the dude that shows up and doesn't throw up, you know what I mean? Then, then, you're, then you're looking at him like, damn, yeah. savage. Yeah, we got a, yeah. we got, I got a, I got a dude named, um, I got a dude named Chris that works for, and he never ever has thrown up. However, um, he's been with me a long time, bro, like eight years, and then he, 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 we went to a, went to a scene one time, and he fucking his mouth was watering, and he was spitting up and shit. And yeah, that's when I knew I was like, okay, this motherfucker, he got it. Yeah. So if I, now, do you think you'll ever have an employee that is actually a serial killer? Uh, I mean, I would imagine, yeah, right? Like, they get off on that kind of shit. Yeah, if I see one of my employees walking around with his dick hard while we're in the scene, I know some fucked up shit's going down, right? So, you know. Are they, <laughs> but he's a good worker, dog. Yeah, well, he's a, yeah well, he's a good worker. He's a good worker, yeah. dog. He's yeah. Yeah. Hey, he, if, he, if, he, if he's taping. That's when you know he really loves this. Yeah. <laughs> if, he's, if he takes two fingers and he tapes them together, right, and he slips them into his Tyvek suit, like I already know, he's going to get his butthole touched, right? Like, he's a sick fuck. That's a. <laughs> Jeez, the dark humor. I, I, I see it now. You got to have it. You got to have it. We need to record one of those. Uh, one of those. Those. Probably couldn't do it, but I'm sure uh, just to hear what you guys are talking about is probably pretty hilarious, bro. Oh, it's yeah. It's such a. Hey, do you guys have like walkie talkies, like comms underneath? The, like, no, 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 no. But we're in a we're in a small area, so uh, if there's a couple work, it would be like where we are right here, you know, so we can hear it. You know oh, okay, what I mean? Okay. But there's, um, you know, we we did this fucking uh, this teacher died one time, and uh, Chris, uh, uh, we call him Six Fo. Um, I said he goes, hey Matt, 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 look at this shit, look at this shit. And there was a fucking little binder, and he was he was a teacher at a fucking high school, right? And um, he was divorced and shit. And in this fucking binder, it says, it said Asian, two inches, not so great. Hispanic, six inches, but had um, uncircumcised. I mean, he's going down a list of dicks that he sucked, and how far did it go? How far did he gag? Like I'm going, what? the fuck I, and then so he died on the couch so we're trying to cut the couch up we're trying to fucking get it done and uh, it had leaked down in there so we picked the couch up and we kind of move it over to see what's underneath it there's fucking gag balls there's fucking kid pornos there's oh, fucking shit. all kinds of shit now I gotta call the cops back over to come over and get the fucking child pornography like and it's this big fucking like you just open up a can of worms you know what I'm saying so did he commit suicide um, I, I don't remember. No, I, th I think he died of natural causes. I, wow. I think he, he, yeah, he died of natural causes. He had a, um, yeah, he died of natural causes. So, yeah. I did the suicide. I'll tell you guys this one. This is a good, good fucking story. So, um, we get called, uh, you know where Cast Steak is? Yeah. Yeah, out there by Santa Clarita, right? So, there's a lake out there called Cast Steak Lake. And this fucking dude goes out there and he buys a, um, he buys a, um, um, a day pass, right? And he, he goes out there and he pulls up in his fucking truck and um, he, um, he he was getting divorced and he had kids and he just, I, I don't know exactly the whole story, but he just was pretty much, it was fucking on his way. He's just done with it. So he writes this fucking suicide note and, he, and it says, I'm using DeWalt because Milwaukee's for pussies. And he takes this fucking DeWalt oh. skill saw and goes... Oh. All the way back, and his neck fucking opens up like a pack net, and he fucking and he bleeds out. He's fucking bleeding. Out. But so not, hey kids, I'm sorry. Not, hey man, fucking my apologies to my nothing. He's going out with a bang. You're talking about Milwaukee and Dewalt. Shout out to Dewalt, by the way. Fucking, they built some shit, right? But. 
God damn, bro. Down with the yellow all day. <laughs> but you know, that changes his, his suicide way different, bro. Because if he put a sob story about, hey, kids, I'm sorry, you know, I was feeling bad about myself, this right. and that. It makes people feel bad, bro. Right. But if he says some shit like that... Straight gangster. Yeah, straight like, all right. gangster shit. That's what we're doing? Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's, let's get it's, the party active. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you you take that in a little bit different. Oh, yeah, correct? 100%. Yeah. I, you, I look at him and go, fuck, he, he must have crip walk with red chucks on. Like, that's the kind of shit... <laughs> I'm like, this dude is for real, for real, for real. Watch <laughs> <My G. laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy, said he must have... He crip walk with some <laughs> red shoes. He was yeah. doing it, man. But, yeah, like, I look at shit like that, and I'm just like, savage, right? Like, fuck it. Like, he, uh, he went out wild as fuck. Wild as fuck, bro. And, and, and where, where exactly did this happen at the lake? Uh, inside of his truck. Oh, inside uh, of his truck. So then, was, I thought he was on a, in a canoe or something. No, no, no he was in, in, inside the truck. He was kind of like overlooking the lake. So then he fucking... So then his, they tow the fucking truck and get it back to... Uh, we have a warehouse, right? And that's where we normally do car accidents or um, vehicles or... You know, police vehicles that, that, that got blood and whatever the fucking case is. And we get it back there and the fucking... His girlfriend at the time had said, hey, look, I... You know, um, I said, okay, I need the insurance information. Well, we don't have insurance in the truck. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, well, I, I can't, you know, we got to figure out a payment. She goes, honestly, clean it and you can keep this motherfucker. It was like a 2005, like Dodge 2500. True story, bro. And I'm like, well, I don't want this piece of shit. I had some fucking tools in his I don't want this motherfucker, but whatever. So we, we, we. So the, you took it? The passenger side, we took out all the shit. So now there's only a steel frame chair. In this motherfucker, right? In the passenger seat. And the center console, we ripped the headliner out because there's fucking blood everywhere. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I can't sell it, right? Nobody's going to buy this fucking thing. And six foe, again, Chris was like, hey, bro, I'll take this fucking thing. I need a truck. I was like, go ahead, right? Run it. So he takes it, bro. He calls me like two weeks later. He's like, bro, fuck this truck, man. I got I to gotta get rid of it. I'm like, what happened? He goes, bro, sometimes we'll be, I'll be fucking in sleeping at three o'clock in the morning and the fucking radio comes on. Swear, hey, swear. He I'm sleeps like, in it. Shut. No, inside he'd be in the house. And the fucking thing. Oh, just come so on. shit starts blasting. Yeah, or, that's creepy as shit. Or bro. he says one light. The headlights are normal. They work fine. But all of a sudden, the fucking one headlight will come on. He's like, bro, it scared the fuck out. He, bro, he got rid of that thing so fast. Yeah, he said it freaked him out, bro. Do you believe in that? Damn. I, I do. I, I believe that there's some fucked up shit sometimes. I do. Like, it, it'll get cold sometimes when I go in somewhere. Uh, I'll be like, wow, fuck, it's freezing. That's cold in here. But it's like hot. It's like 92 degrees know. outside. No air conditioner. Yeah, and the suits. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, yeah. Jesus Christ. I get the chills. I'm like, oh, my God, shit's going down. You know, uh, my, my girl's grandfather oh, shit, uh, had passed away oh, years back. The, uh, and we were in his uh, house. Uh, and, um, oh, okay. and I was living with him before he I passed, wasn't, whatever, wasn't at the house. Was, bro, so. And I was rapping, bro, <laughs> like loud as shit in his living room, bro, where he hung out at and watched his shows, NASCAR and all these other different shows he watched all the time with his chair sitting right there with him, you know, passed. And I'm rapping and there's something that nobody's probably so ever done tried, in that living room, bro. She's, she's tried you know? calling me from yeah. all kinds of And I'm just being like, you know, bah, 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 acting a fool. I was I'm drinking like, or something, shit. right? So my bad, and all of a sudden... Bad, it scared the bad, shit bad. out of me, bro. Because there was a, there was a, a like it was like an old seventies. These metal flower decoration thing that was on the wall, bro. Right, right, right. And all of a sudden, that shit said, no. and shook. And I said, oh shit! It scared. The shit out of me, and that was him saying, "Motherfucker, you in my living room, bro, doing all that shit. You weren't doing that when, you know. Yeah, you weren't, you weren't that active when I was around. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, it's just something you don't do in yeah. great grandpa's living room. Right, right, right. And and that I, I believe in it a hundred percent, bro. But now, having he his soul is now bound, or whatever you want to call it, to that truck. That's crazy. I mean, is that across the board wherever someone dies? Like people talk about old hospitals." old hospitals oh, where there yeah. was this floor a lot of kids I'm, I'm actually working in the edison building in san gabriel right now edison headquarters it used to be a hospital and they said when edison moved in there they were upstairs and on the bottom was a bunch of kids and just you know a hospital right, 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 right. and they said that 
since the hospital left, that was years ago, um, there's ghosts in there, bro. You know, like a lot of weird shit, and it's yeah. known in the Edison building that that bottom floor is haunted. Yeah. Um, the, you know, um, for me, you know, I'm... You know, I don't really believe in like. I guess, I guess for me, I believe in um, science, not Scientology, but science, right? I believe in e uh, evolving. I believe because I just can't believe that you know one creator like lets fucked up shit happen to just kids, right? Like uh, we can go into a hundred two different things, right? But like uh, child uh, pornography, pedophilia, all that shit, right? Like so. I'm not a real spiritual person. However, um, I do believe that sometimes when we're there and fucked up shit happens, we do get some. Uh, we do get some real fucked up shit that, that happens. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So, so sometimes, but then there's other times that like yeah, nothing happens and it's just it's whatever. You know. I wonder if it's like I always think like it's a stove, like just. Like they died so quickly or something, like their brain activity. I'll tell you what, what I'll tell you this right now. Sometimes we're there and the body's still there. It just depends, right? And uh, we call it the last breath, right? And so what happens is your lungs is filled with air, right? And, and motherfuckers be dead for, I don't know, four or five hours, right? And we're there and we're talking with the corner, whatever, whatever. And then all of a sudden the fucking body will go... <sighs> And I promise you, if you've never shit purple Twinkies, that's the time it's gonna happen. It fucking goes, uh, and it, it really freaks you the fuck out. I've been doing this a long time, and it's happened all the time. But you still just never get used to it. It's just you're so freaked the fuck out. You know, I've had people. I had this dude one time come in, and uh, he worked for us, and his name was Michael, and uh, he was maybe a month in. Great worker, hard worker, and it happened, and he fucking quit. That he walked off quit that day said no, I'm not doing this shit. zombie yeah can you imagine right like we're all sitting there talking right now dude's been dead you know four or five hours all of a sudden he goes Ugh. or he kind of lifts up a little bit you would shit yourself you would shit. and and you, like you said that's just the uh the lungs clearing itself clearing itself, clearing itself. You say, hey i'm ready for a yep. shipment yep yep ready to go yeah Bro. yeah back to the scientology yeah. stuff though not Scientology, just science. Science, I'm sorry. Science. Back to, back to the science, bro. I think that's a good subject right there. Okay. Um, and not something we've got to go real deep in, but... I mean, science, bro, like what you were saying, how can they create... I mean, how can they create one God and all this fucked up shit happen in the world? You know? And that's true. That's a, that's a big argument that I hear a lot, and it's crossed my mind. Um, but I still pray. Sure. I still pray to God. Something I, you don't do, correct? I don't. You I don't I, pray. I don't. I think that faith, faith, no matter what it is, right? Whether it's Allah, whether it's fucking Buddha, well, it doesn't matter. As long as you have faith, you know, I believe that the Ten Commandments are just being a good person. Is You know what I'm saying? Like, thou shall not kill or thou shall not this or that. But, but at the end of the day, right? Like, there is some times it's okay to kill. Can they watch the TV? Right? Yeah. I mean, so like... 100%. So, so then what, you know, who makes that final judgment, right? The, the program that we've been installed with, which is uh, our conscience, our, uh, that, you know, the, 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 the sense within us that tells us what's right and wrong. Like, sure. everybody should have that, you know? Like, sure. you're standing on the top of a staircase, and there's an old lady going down before you. You know, you know that if you push her down the stairs... <laughs> that is something you shouldn't do. Like it, it right. doesn't. Like we. So it's a program that's instilled in us now. Maybe some people have more bandwidth than others. So what about the people that their cock gets hard because of that? They want to push her down. Or, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're a hundred percent right. So, so why so are those people? I mean, but but there's 
the, the, it's a balance of the world, I guess, maybe. Duality and how do and how do we ever how do we evolve without people doing the most horrendous shit? How do we how do we uh, meet our full potential as human beings, bro? Without seeing that stuff and understanding uh, new ways of maybe treating that, you know, or moving forward into the future. Um, I think it's just the evolution of human beings, mankind, not science, but uh, you know, God, right? He be a hey, you put you, uh, hey, bro. You bring kids into this world, you know. I mean, you're gonna teach them the best you can do, but if they their mind goes somewhere else and they do some horrendous shit, then it's like, hey, that shit ain't on me. So God's probably saying the same thing. Hey, that ain't on me, man. Yeah, you can't put that on me. I, no, I mean, you can't put it on you. But I mean, it just seems that there's a lot more fucked up shit nowadays than when we were growing up right does that make sense right? fuck like, yeah bro like, but but maybe because fold whoa check it out dude check it out if, uh, this is a dumb example bro let's watch an nba game in the fucking 70s and let's watch an nba game in 2023 that's a whole different game bro yeah you know I mean, but, so motherfuckers are always gonna be Taking it up because there's gonna be there's the new seeds that are planted, bro. And then you got these fucking horror movies that got the most realistic shit. You probably don't even go see a horror movie because it's all fake. You know the real shit. Yeah, we worked on um, we worked on the last uh, season of Dexter to kind of set up some scenes, and we also worked on um, uh, great series. A fucking there was another series that we did on Netflix, and it was uh, we just set up some scenes for them. Oh, the Dahmer stories, like we, we did a lot with that. Um, I couldn't watch that. No, huh? No. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a well, it's just I, I I played it on Netflix, the Dahmer, the Netflix sure. special, right? Yeah. I played the beginning of it. He was at a bar, and then he started. He got some dude into his apartment. And then he's just like getting ready. I don't know to serve a drink or just some weird shit, bro. And I'm like, whoa. Yeah, he's roofing I, him. Yeah, I was like, this is. I, I ain't into this shit. This is an entertainment to me. Yeah. You know. And I turned it off. Just like I couldn't watch the Gabriel. Was it Gabriel Hernandez? Gabriel Hernandez, bro. I can't watch that, bro. Yeah. And, and and I just feel that it's just I've been I polluted my system with such so much bullshit throughout the years, bro. I don't need no more sure, you of that yeah. uh, of of the corruption within my program, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. and so I try to steer away from stuff like that. You know, in an interview, Jeffrey Dahmer said they asked him why why do you eat or why do you prefer uh, black or um, Asian? You know, over white. He goes, I had white. He goes, um, their meat is, he goes, is juicier. <laughs> is that fucked up? Because chicken is the same way, right? Like dark meat is more juicy than white meat. Is that fucked up? I'm just saying. Like, That's wild. It's going to take you to be able to break right, down like, a different service. I'm just, you know, just yeah. let, it, let, it, let it be known, you know? I prefer dark meat, by the way. Uh, Sick fuck. So moist. Sick fuck. Moist. Um, yeah, man, fuck them shit. I mean, it's just it's just the nature of. Are you are you scared of your own death? Are you afraid? I mean, I mean, do you have an agreement with your son if anything ever crazy happens that he'll clean you up or you vice versa? Oh, that's a good. You know, I never thought about that. Like, um, no, because he he's no, I, no, I, I don't think I want my kids to see me in a in a compromisable position like that. You know, um, I think that you as a child you should look up. You're looking up to your parents or your, your father, your mother, whoever the fuck it is. And you should, you know, you don't, the last thing that you want to see them is in, in that crazy compromised position. So I, I don't think I would want that to happen. But um, I have also seen, uh, you know, real fucked up shit that happens with bodies. Like they bang them around and, this, you know, it's just, it just happens, right? The, uh, you know, when I went, I, we did, we went, flew out for the Route 91, and um, there's fucking bodies everywhere. Carnage. It was like a fucking war zone in America. It was crazy you Refresh shit. me on that, Route, That's, uh, Route 91. Uh, where the dude shot everybody from the Mandalay Bay. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Las, oh, Vegas. Las, Vegas, Las Vegas, the country mm -hmm. concert. We, we did one in yeah. fucking uh, Inland Empire where this uh, Muslim guy and his wife fucking smoked, like, I don't know, like 10 people at the Christmas party. And they went on this high-speed chase and fucking dumping cops and they were dumping back at them they ended up killing them but we went into this motherfucker we opened the doors up and um, 
fucking just gun smoke, yeah. fucking bodies everywhere, music still playing, oh, disco shit. ball going, Christmas fucking carols. Is that crazy, right? Like, you know, you're going in there to, to clean this shit up and there's fucking, you know, jingle bells on the motherfucking from the DJ scene. Well, you're fucking eating That's the burrito, bro. Yeah, no, I mean, so shit. I'm just saying. For, yeah, for, for, the, know, normal, for, the, for viewers, the normal folk right. out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in there in their fucking Christmas. Oh how, do you, how do you view life now after being in this a crazy trade for so many years when you see human life when you're in a just a, a function a, a joyous function maybe people are having a good time and there's just a lot of people i mean do you see do you see it differently bro than the average person purple see, people see it on the surface of what it is you know um but do you have a tendency to look deeper into it of what could happen or who really is that guy right there or, I, you know, that person looks like somebody I just cleaned up. I don't know, you know? Yeah, um, no, I think I just look at it as, look, man, we're not here that long, right? Um, so live your life, the whatever you want to do. Don't let society dictate what you fucking do. If you want to, if you want to suck 10 dicks, well, you go and suck 10 dicks, right? It doesn't matter what society says about it. You just do you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and if, and if you can look at yourself in the mirror every day and you can live with your decisions and it is what it is. Like, you know, nobody else is here to judge anybody on what you do. If you, you know, whatever it is that you want to do in life, you fucking do it. Who cares? I don't, you know, and, uh, oh, this is not right. Or, oh, that's not right. And the church says this. Or this says that. Well, who gives a fuck? Everybody's got. Everybody has demons, and they all have. Everybody has skeletons. I promise you, every single body has skeletons. Some just might be different than others, right? And uh, we all. You speed on the freeway, don't you? I did today to get here. Yeah, so did I. So did I. And I, and I would say everybody in this room does. But I usually try to stay at 80 the fastest, but I, I went over 80 today. Yeah, nobody, nobody... Just told on myself. Nobody, nobody says to you guys, don't, don't fucking do that. Yeah. Right? Like, it's not frowned upon, but but, it, but it's against all, it's society's rules, right? And just so you know, um, if you crash at over 81 miles an hour, your likeliness of, of surviving that um, is about, uh, I think it's 9% and goes up from there. So try, try, try to keep it at 79 you might, so, you might is that one it. mile? You might, you might make it. Here goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here goes the dark you were kicking. No, I'm, I'm just being 79. I'm I'm going 79.5. 75 to 79 is about what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I really drive responsibly. Not I, all the time. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I just had to correct myself in mid sentence, bro. But car accidents, bro, are, uh, are. Is that probably one of the leading deaths? Maybe in certain states, car accidents. Yeah, we see some real fucked up car accidents. You know, people. The worst ones are like when they, when they, when they're trapped in there and, and it's fucking on fire, right? And they're just in the fucking. The smell of a burnt person is just so bad. It's so bad. It's like so bad. And then it's like, you know. Usually, when we when we get there, people are crying on the side of the road. They're they're exactly. still taking their witness statements and fucking whatever, and you know, and and, and it's, they're just like they were fucking screaming okay. help and fucking you know what I mean. It's like okay. royal, you know, and then, uh, yeah. like, but like like you said, you have to try to detach yourself. From oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I try I try not to even pay attention to it, right? Like in, unless it was like somebody was fucked up or whatever. You know, there's times that like. I'll hear the story well, like from like six or seven different people. He was cutting people off. He was going in the emergency lane. He was driving like an asshole. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh yeah, good, fuck him, you know. But then there's other times where I'm like, fuck, dude, like, this, this fucking baby was ejected because they didn't put the fucking the car seat in right. Like you, you didn't take the time to fucking buckle it in correctly, you know. And then it's like, fuck. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm an emotional uh, human being, bro. 100 <laughs> percent for the detriment of myself. And for the good of myself, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on what we t what, what we talking about, um, but I I I, f I see things and I feel it, mm -hmm. you know. And sometimes it could hit me emotionally, bro. Yeah. You know. And I don't know if I could be in that line of business, bro. Especially when there's kids involved and stuff like that, because I would maybe automatically, uh, man. You, it's that's one thing about being in that trade, though. You really got to learn how to detach your emotions for stuff. And that, and that takes a certain type of individual to do that. Cause not everybody can do that, bro. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, hundred percent. Like, and when I say dark humor, like we we talk a good game, and we, you know, we 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 talk some shit, but it's not like we take like, you know, a fucking severed hand and cup our well, ballsack or anything with it, it, right? Like, <laughs> and we don't throw up blood and crypt signs with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so but like, look. like we don't throw up West Side with the hand or nothing. But you know, we, it's, but we do. But keep you it thought so about good. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I might have uh, I might have thought about it once or twice. You never get the it's middle finger. Yeah. You, the dude you know, because is fucking t- dragging ass on the job. Because, like what'll happen is like like when they die and rigor mortis is set in, their hands are automatically kind of fucked up like this, right? So you know you just kind of maybe bend it one way or the other and throw up, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> This fucking guy. Hey, we've had we've had killers on this podcast, bro, and this is probably one of the sickest dudes we've had on, man. You are. Oh. I mean, I'm not trying to I mean, say you. you're a killer, bro, no. but I'm just saying, bro. Like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It, that's it's it's funny, but at the same time, it's like, god damn it, bro. That is it's that's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's really, yeah. really, really crazy, man. That that people like you exist, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. and they can actually do this job. But hey. It's the way God created it, not science, sir. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, Plug to God. God. Hashtag God. Hashtag a new sponsor on Hoodstocks. Uh, God. God. Is, he ain't paying us. He's just giving us life. He's giving Prayer. us breath. You know what I mean? And he, and he gave he, and, he, he, and he's giving us this man right here. Right. Yeah. He's, he's, Matt, baby. Yeah. Lots of you, baby. Crazy, yeah. man. Hey, let's take a quick break. I got to do some ads. And can yeah. we get into a couple more stories? Of course. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it. it. Are, are you good, brother? I'm with it. I'm with it. Let's okay. make it happen. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Frank, go ahead and put the camera over here on this side, sir. This guy right here Frank's He's gonna learning. get it He's learning He's Don't gonna worry. get it We got a new camera right here Looking for some good Quality cannabis I mean killer quality cannabis Hit up the folks At Killer Kush They specialize in bringing you The best quality Available from OG To exotic They got it all baby Hit them up uh, At uh, Killer Kush Cali at gmail.com or follow them on IG at killercush underscore underscore 420 or if you're in the city right here baby they got East LA Exotics located right here in East LA at 6009 East Olympic Boulevard we also sponsored by Origin Bakery Equipment yes sir shout out to the homie Dreamer right here this dude fucking has got an amazing bakery equipment uh, company your one stop shop for all your bakery restaurant equipment needs home based to wholesale commercial bakeries new and used follow my Instagram at Origin Bakery Equipment LLC and uh, you can pull up on them in the city of South Omani at 10441 Rush Street we're also uh, sponsored by Gutter Phenom baby yes sir man they got the thickest hoodies in the game right now I was sporting it last night uh, Gutter Phenom is a lifestyle brand that is dedicated to supporting and inspiring individuals who are determined uh, to achieve their dreams. We believe that no matter where you come from or what you've been through, with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. A portion of our proceeds are donated to organizations that provide vocational training for proleys and scholarships for those and also for those in the need of uh, drug and alcohol treatment. I want you guys to go visit them, gutterphenom.com. Gutterphenom.com. You're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to hear gutterphenom.com in your head. Use exclusive code HUSTOX20 to receive 20% off. And that is our sponsors today. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Can I get a soda or something? Anybody? Please? Um, go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Go. I'm ready. I'm ready. What to do? What to do? So, man. Yeah, I'll take one of those, Nick. Thank you, sir. My G. <clears throat> I'd like to get into some more of those stories, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, t- I'll tell you a fucking crazy story. This is probably like, and I haven't even told this one on my podcast. I was going to do it next week, but this is, dude, this one's so fucking gnarly. So um, I was getting ready to go have lunch with two of my buddies. And uh, we're, dr- we're in my truck, and um, I get this call on the Stereo Pros line. And um, so, you know, I hit it up. What up, Stereo Pros? And, uh, she says, yeah, um, I got this, like, it's fucking death, I need cleaned up, and I'm like, okay, cool, you know, um, you know, has the coroner released the scene, give me, give me the details, um, yeah, um, yeah, he can come down, and it's in, um, fuck, I remember, I think San Fernando or something like that, and, uh, no, San, it was, uh, Valencia, Santa Clarita, and he says, okay, um, you know, gives me the lowdown, and says, oh, you know, um, uh, my four-year-old, um, was, was, was uh, killed at, the, at this place and I need to clean up and I'm thinking to myself man something's not right 
This fucking bitch is not crying, right? Number one. Number two, if it was something like that, I would have already gotten a call from somebody of higher law enforcement or something, right? So they're just not going to have the fucking mom reach out to me, right? This, that's just not going to happen. Mom and shopping around. Yeah, shopping around, right? So she goes, uh, I said, yeah. She goes, okay, you know, um, how do you? How do I pay? I'm like, well, you know, let's deal with that later. And she goes, you know, do you accept cash? And I'm like, yeah, of course, cash king. And she's like, okay, cool, cool. And um, um, so I have the, I have the well, PVC, um, the PVC pipe, um, and it has hair and blood on it. Uh, it was the murder weapon. Do you take that? And I'm like. No, bitch. Like, so now I'm like, okay, maybe she's just loon, right? Like, that's it. I said, well, give me your address. You know, I'll shoot it. Get the address. Get, fuck, call over to the uh, LA County Sheriff.